Bueno, chicos, ¿cómo están? Bueno, el día de hoy, chicos, vamos a continuar con Vampire. Estaba pensando como que el tema del episodio anterior. De que probablemente para mucha gente va a ser tedioso el tema de acercarse y que yo me la pasé hablando con esta gente, pero me parece como interesante en el programa que tiene. Soy Dr. Reed. ¿Puedo ayudarte? No sé si una tercera opinión es necesaria. Tus colegas ya están ya discutiendo sobre mi condición. Lo veo. Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Cultivar esa... Tell me about yourself, Mr. Fiddick. I'm just a regular guy waiting to get his arm fixed. So I can return to work. I was more curious about what you were doing before being hospitalized. I'm a carpenter and a good one too. But that means I need both arms to feed my family, Dr. Reed. Are you satisfied with your treatment here? Well, it's clear that I've chosen a bad time to be injured. Forgive my bluntness, but you seem overwhelmed by cases of the flu. I won't lie to you about it. I'm afraid we are. Are you sure you don't want to operate yourself, Dr. Reed? I have the feeling you're very capable. And your colleagues seem to think so too. In other circumstances, you would be right. But for now, I don't think I can take on the responsibility. My apologies. Is there anything else that's bothering you? Can I help in any way? I'm all right. Considering the state of this place, I should consider myself lucky, I guess. Tell me about the doctors who are arguing about your case. Strickland and Aykroyd. They both want the best for me, but there's a lot of pride there. Doctors are no different from carpenters, it seems. What do you mean? I often had professional arguments with rivals on a building site. Difference is I disagreed about wooden nails, not flesh and bones. Tell me about your injury, Harvey. Why do you feel so guilty about it? My wife died because of me. And now I may lose everything because I've been careless enough to hurt myself. What an arsehole. How could your job be responsible for your wife's death? I was working a double. She went out to bring me a hot meal and got caught in a German bomb raid. You can't hold yourself responsible for your injury, Mr. Fiddick. Unless you tried to hurt yourself. Of course I didn't hurt myself. But I can't work until my arm is fixed. My children need to eat, Doctor. Tell me more about the death of your wife, Harvey. 1915. I was in the army. Building workshops for the Royal Flying Corps. Helen was happy I wasn't sent to the front. What happened? The Germans sent Zeppelins to bomb the construction site, but they missed their target. My wife was bringing my dinner when the bombs fell. I'm sorry for your loss. So many died during the bombings. I served in France and witnessed the carnage there. I would like to say that she didn't suffer. Truth is, I had no idea. I just know that I'm all that my kids have. How are your children after losing their mother? They were smaller then. The only good thing about this is my Ellen didn't bring them with her that night. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. Y ya, bueno, se abrió el, obviamente la... Eh, carácter. No voy a leer esto porque me da lata en realidad, no, eso no. Si me gusta escuchar las conversaciones, como les dije. Ya por lo menos tengo varios aquí. A este lo maté yo. No vi el detalle. Fíjense aquí, aquí ya tengo el 100%, o sea... O sea, prácticamente ahí le saqué toda la información. Pareciera que cada uno tiene una información diferente. Eh, o 
sea, cada uno tiene información diferente definitivamente, pero como que Finally you've returned, doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, doctor. Now this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls. When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, doctor. When you finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Decirse enfermedades. Las enfermedades peoran la calidad de la sangre de un ciudadano. Usa la medicina adecuada para curarla. Habla con el paciente de la habitación que hay detrás de Dorothy para comprobar su estado de salud. Igual quiero hablar con ella. Doctor Reed, may I help you? What can you tell me about the epidemic, Nurse Craig? No, 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 I've been out of touch no since I've come back to England. Everyday folk don't know how bad it is. The papers certainly won't tell them. Not as long as the war is raging on, anyway. News on the front stated that the Spanish flu was under control, at least in Britain. It seemed to be for a while, but that was only last summer. It returned with a vengeance just over a month ago. What can you tell me about our patients here at Pembroke? This hospital was founded to help the East End poor and needy. But since the war and the quarantine, we've had all manner of folk. Can you be more specific? Well, veterans, the elderly, dock workers. We even have a few mental patients. If there's space, we take them. For how long have you been working here, Nurse Crane? I first volunteered at the Pembroke in 1911, a few months after Dr. Swansea was appointed. And before you arrived here? If you must know, this was my first job. Well, Dr. Swansea certainly has confidence in your abilities. Are you in charge of the nursing staff? Not in an official capacity. No but the Pembroke mil, doesn't always mil, work above board, so to speak. What about medical protocols? Doctor Reed, we don't have the money and resources here at the Pembroke like they do in the West End. We do what we can. How is the duty roster organized? Everybody works until they can't. If there's time, they'll eat a meal and shed a silent tear. I'll see you later, Nurse Crane. Good evening, madam. Can I help you? It's my son who needs you, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. How can I help your son? I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Goswick. Could you check on him, please, Dr. Reed? I've heard much of your talents as a physician. What can you tell me about yourself, Mrs. Goswick? Not much to say. Just take care of my Mortimer and I'll cover all the expenses. That's all that matters. Are you really that rich? Most of the patients here are of a more humble origin, if I may say so. Yes. Thanks to my husband. May he rest in peace. I can cover any needed medical expenses. May I ask if you have an occupation, Mrs. Goswick? I'm a teacher by profession. I teach young women who are more ambitious about their futures than their What do you think of your reception here? Any complaints? I have had the uttermost reservations about this hospital since we arrived. But we had no other choice, considering the state of emergency. Is there something in particular that's bothering you? Some of the staff were not especially welcoming. I suspect they're not accustomed to dealing with patients of such social standing. Huh. See. Tell me more about your arrival at the Pembroke Hospital. What gave you such a bad first impression? The ambulance driver was quite rude, for a start. And that nurse, Miss Hawkins, seems to have quite a dubious attitude. What do you mean? She managed to secure a bed for my son despite the epidemic. It was a relief, but it wasn't cheap. She charged you for a bed? Yes. And I paid without question, considering the urgency of the situation. I share your concern, Mrs. Goswick. 
Be sure that I'll talk to the people involved. I don't expect compensation. Yeah, to but I'm aware such behavior would not be tolerated in other hospitals. Probablemente no le debería cobrar nada. Según lo que entiendo. Eh. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswell. Eso es según lo que yo entiendo, ¿ok? Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. Interesante. Enfermedades. Pulsa RE para comprobar el estado de su salud. Cura a una ciudadana aumentará su calidad de sangre y te promocionará la experiencia. También mejorará el estado de su salud. O sea, acá, acá dice algo importante. Curar a un ciudadano aumentará su calidad de sangre y te proporcionará experiencia también. O sea, eh... Why did your mother have you hospitalized here? She seems convinced this is a bad hospital. My mother just wants the best for me. She won't rest while I'm here. She'd go all the way to hell and back to help me. Pembroke Hospital may look unorthodox, but rest assured, you're in good hands here. It's not me you have to convince, Dr. Reed. It's my mother. Is your mother bothering you? As your doctor, I can ask her to leave you alone if you would prefer. That's tempting, Doctor. But you have no idea what my mother is capable of. She would tie herself to my bed if you asked her to leave. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful, I'd rather not talk about I mean, it, doctor. I'm sure you realize a doctor and his patient have to communicate, sir. Would it help if I gave you some paper and a pen? Not really. I see. Then maybe it's not just your throat that hurts, Mr. Goswick. Perhaps your sore throat is just the consequence of something more hurtful. Yes, maybe. How painful is your throat? I'll let you get some rest then. In Europa, um... Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Yeah, and we've been in a month on the Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Goswick. I don't want to talk, Doctor. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. Do you need any help? Thank you, Dr. Reed, but you've done enough already. The rest is up to me now. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Se lo ayudé. Y aquí... Dice recuperando, sin pérdida de sangre. Vista bloqueada, vista bloqueada. Ahora está la mamá. Pareciera que todo este tema de la sangre, fíjense que igual me falta gente todavía, pero... Pareciera que el tema de la sangre sí es importante, en cierto modo, para la experiencia, o sea, para ganar experiencia más rápido, creo yo, supongo. Lo voy a decir, tentación de sangre. No olvides que la sangre de un ciudadano te proporciona un impulso masivo de experiencia. Busca ciudadanos con un nivel igual o inferior a tu nivel de cautividad. Elige sabiamente, me dice. O sea, me están diciendo de que... Que puedo matar gente también. Ahora tengo que elegir sabiamente... Hay que ciudadano comerme. Pocas palabras. 
Sí. Ahora, me interesa antes de seguir con esto hablar con esta enfermera que está. Había de... Está esta enfermera aquí que la vimos en el episodio anterior. Que no sé dónde estará ahora, la verdad, pero. Que fue la que le cobró. Le cobró a este paciente por una cama, pero. Como les digo, no sé dónde está. Tal vez sea una tontera lo que esté haciendo, ¿ah? ¿eh? No digo que no, pero. Puta. Tal vez no, no sé. With you at our side, Dr. Reed, I know that Pembroke will prevail no and survive this attack, my boy. It's locked. Y hablé con la madre. Pero la puerta está cerrada, no me dejan entrar. Um, ahí está, ahí está. Es. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. A ver, miren, fíjense que a pesar de que sea algo de información, eh, Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. No me, no me da más, más información. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. No, 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 How no, is the situation bien. around here? You want to hear the situation is all right? It's fucking awful. We lack everything, and it's getting worse every day. Are you really smuggling weapons through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know, and by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... too long, I guess. I'll bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job, but I get it done. Most of the time. <laughs> since you're on the front line, how is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing here. I escaped through the hospital's garden, but I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital. That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want, but be careful, doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. Lo dejó un huevón botado eh, medianoche en el jardín del bien y del mal. No era mi investigación. Why do you have such a mediocre reputation among your colleagues, Milton? Fuck them. Nobody knows the horrors I've seen since working here. This city was sick long before the epidemic, Dr. Reed. I know it's a difficult task, but correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not the job you are paid to do? I've seen babies left to die while their brothers were properly fed. Underage girls and boys sold to all manner of perverts. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Yeah, exactly. We lack words. So excuse me if I don't look on the bright side of life. Pues yo no creo que ver, nos tomemos demasiado tiempo en, en averiguar un poco sobre esto, estas personas. Eh, Goodbye, Milton. La verdad, creo que igual es importante hablar con ellos, tener información, saber un poco más. Eh, habla con Edgar Swan, interroga a Henry sobre el eh, Legis en México, interroga con Norton sobre el Médica. Entonces, por lo menos de este lugar, eh, por lo menos de este lugar, si vemos el mapa, veamos el mapa. Eh, aquí hay un par de cosas, por ejemplo, eso es un escondite. Marcador personalizado, marcador personalizado. A veces, mira. A veces, nada que ver ahí. Misiones, posición, investigación local. Ciudadanos en peligro. Y acá sale la investigación local. Um, y bueno, acá están todos los, todas las personas con las que uno puede hablar. Aún me faltan una, dos, tres, cuatro personas que no he conocido, o sea, él se está recuperando. Eh, 
Ahora yo creo, creo que soy ella. Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, o sea, me no more creo lethal que un than any bullet from a gun. O, 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 it's hard, lugar, pero ya después se, An invisible enemy? Tengo que ir a Quite a poetic term y, for a disease, viendo. especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but how do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Mm. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Tell me what Dr. Tippett's did. I know his mistake caused a patient's death. If I had not covered up his error, Dr. Tippett's would have been fired from this hospital. I could not let that ah, happen. You can't to... allow your emotions to dictate your conduct concerning patients, Nurse Brannigan. Look around you, Dr. Reed. Do you really think we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner like Dr. Tippett's in our situation? I can't say I approve of what you did. But as a field surgeon, I know that some situations require you to bend the rules. I'm not proud of what I've done, but to contain the epidemic must be our priority, so we can't afford to lose Dr. Tibbets. Entonces, claro, él cometió un error el tipo este. Eh, mató a un paciente y ella encubrió esto. Eh, Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. No le contó a nadie porque obviamente pensó que le habían echado que era lo más común, lo más normal. Eh, Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett's, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. Eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. Uh -huh. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak to This hospital is not diferente. exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. It's more than enough. In any case, the personnel of a hospital are much more important to me than the building. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. No. We must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. 
Once more, unto the breach. You've nothing to prove, Dr. Tippett, to anybody. Ah, and we all praise your experience. Please, have some rest. I am perfectly fine, and I am not too old for this job. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Tell me more about cherished people, then. Nurse Branigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire her skills. I'll go even further. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve. But I must admit, he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong, Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. Kokoran, I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt truth. What was the nature of the mistake? It was a twofold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. Why not stop practicing? Are you mad? I killed that man, I admit it, and it won't happen again. I have saved so many lives since then. Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks, maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk with him. No one claimed a body. Mm. I will cover for you, Dr. Tibbets, by keeping what happened to Mr. Connor to myself. I... I don't know what to say, actually. I can't exactly force you to become my accomplice. You didn't force me. This is my decision to make. I believe you're still of use to the hospital, considering the situation. Then I can make you this promise. As soon as the epidemic is eradicated, I will resign. What will you do after your resignation? Do you have a plan? I always fancied visiting Cyprus. Such a beautiful island. I could buy a house there, by the sea. Read poetry. Wait for death. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Claro. Ahora, tenía otras misiones que hacer Y pareciera que ya las completé porque Por ejemplo, acá hay uno, uno Acá hay casi todo, fíjense O sea... Es raro, weón Está bloqueada O sea, me suena, me sale como, o sea, me sabe como a raro el hecho de que... Bueno, he ganado, he ganado experiencia, fíjense que tenía 1400 Ahora tengo 1600, entonces cuando vas descubriendo pistas eh, Vas ganando experiencia igual Entonces igual te... Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Why does Dr. Tippett's claim you're the main reason he keeps working, despite his fatigue? If it wasn't for him, I probably would have left the Pembroke years ago. 
Dr. Tippetts does not think of you as just a nurse anymore, does he? If you're suggesting he's not taking my gender into consideration when it comes to medical practice and knowledge, I really hope he doesn't. Desde ahí tenía otra pista, eh, y obviamente que el, el Dr. Tippetts no... Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Habla, con, habla de ellas como de una forma como prote, prote, protectora, así, una cosa así, ¿no? Ahora, ¿quiénes eran ellos? Eh, no lo sé. Entonces, mi misión ahora es hablar con Edgar. Pero nada chicos, así que ese va a ser por el día de hoy todo esto lo que he hecho, bueno, que más que todo ha sido hablar. Así que nada, ya saben, suscríbanse, dejen like, comenten en el video, comparten el canal y nos vemos.